Hello. Well, I couldn't tell if you had done this, if you've done calculus or pre-calc. So I'm going to do this one using pre-calc and algebra style solutions. I switched the equation around just because I like having the t squared first. All right. If you consider this as a standard form, this is going to be a, and this is going to be b, standard form of a quadratic. The x part, or the x part of the vertex is where, or the vertex is where this thing's going to hit its maximum height. So basically, we need to find the vertex. We find the x part of the vertex by taking the opposite of b divided by 2a. So in this case, we're going to have negative 559 over 2 times negative 13 fourths. And when we calculate that out, 59 divided by 13 divided by 2. What's wrong with that picture? Thirteen fourths. Okay, let me try that again. It, that doesn't look right. So I got thirteen divided by four times two equals six and a half. Okay, so I got 559 divided by 6.5. That comes out to be 86. All right, so that means it's going to be 86 seconds when this object is reaches its maximum height. Now, Put in 86 for t, so we get negative 13 fourths times 86 squared plus 559 times 86. So we'll figure that out. 86 squared times 13 divided by negative 4. Oops, that's 16. Got to punch the right numbers in for it to work. 13 plus 559 times 86. That gets me 24,037 feet is the maximum height. I don't know about that. I don't know if this 13 divided by 4 is right, but whatever the number is, that's what you would do. You take the opposite of b over 2a to get the x part of the vertex, which is going to be your time when it hits the vertex. And then you just plug that value in to the function, and that gives you the actual height.